Hello humanity, and today we'll be talking about the last judgment, all right? Since we have a lot of religious people out there who are brainwashed. Keep in mind, our history is fake. When a religious person tells you that they have historical evidence, historical bullshit, because the history is created by those who have power, by the slave masters, Humanity, the people have been incredibly brainwashed. I even heard people who are not religious saying that the people need religion. They don't need religion. You also brainwash. Okay? Our scientists are brainwashed. So our education system is fake. Fake education system, fake scientists. It's a communist science. It's a lie. Alright? Just, just put it this way. The Indians had it real good until... Until the um, Vanicans, the Catholic Church, the Christians came, invaded, and started raping and killing in their name of their gods. All right? All this has to do with population control. To maintain the carbon levels low, to keep everything small. So, all right, let's get started. Here's the last judgment painting. Like I said, they have to tell you the truth. Fictional lies. So, let's zoom in here. So right there is the truth to all to see. Can you see what I see? Now, if you think you're real smart, don't watch the rest of this video. Break down this image, all right? Use the star map. Use this. Use the image I provided. This is facts and evidence. This is knowledge, nature knowledge. The thing is, the re all religious organizations, the people, or churches are mind control facilities. They don't teach you how nature works. So you can see through the illusions of the Bible. When you study nature, that's our first language, nature. All the other languages is the slave masters. English is a slave master language. Um, Russia, slave master language. China, slave, ma slave master. All languages in the planet are Spanish. All of them, slave master languages. Let me show you another image. Literally, this is what happened to civilization. Here comes... It, like with the Native American Indians, what happened in the New World, but in the Old World, Jesus loves you. Now I say it, 300 years later, see, but this has been happening for 2,000 years, the mind control. For example, in my other video where I, ha I gave a religious person my number so they can call me, and they said that their evidence was um, in 30 AD, there were witnesses that saw Jesus. That's not evidence, that's a lie, okay? That's the biggest lie. Now, keep in mind, three, 2,000 years ago, the ability to think, because it's low oxygen levels, people lose the capacity to think. For example, right now, it's happening. Higher oxygen levels, we all become geniuses, people in the future, all right? This is what's going on. Humans are incredibly stupid because they don't have an oxygenated brain. You will see, pet. but right now you do have the ability to think if you use it. If you know how to use your brain, you're not because you're following the fake system. You need to start learning and educating yourself. People are not doing that. They're following the lies. All right. So all churches are mind control facilities. It's an easy life for them. They take advantage of donations and stuff like that. So this is worldwide. It's going on. Our history is fake. But they're telling you the truth fictionalized. Now, use my star map to decode this. So let's explain this. Here we go. Ta da! You see how simple it is? To see through the veil of darkness. So we have here the Fire Age, heaven. All right? That's when everything gets bigger again. They're telling you in their paintings. Air Age, Portugory. Then we got here um, the water age, that is hell. 2,000 years of darkness, no sunlight. People live underground because there's one more underground. People eat each other until the return of the yellow sun, who is the Savior. So those people who witness Jesus, because Jesus represents the, represents the yellow sun, he's the Savior, melts the ice away. We stop eating each other. You get it? You see, religious people don't get that. The old Bibles are sound stories. All these stories repeat itself. All right. So the beginning is the ice age. The Passover is the ice age. The resurrection is the ice age. Moses in the wilderness for three days. One and two, two thousand years of darkness. Then he returns again in the third day. You see, 
um, many, many three days. Um, Hona is the yellow sun and the belly of the gray fish. The gray fish is the Milky Way galaxy. You see the gray fish. And it's spending them out in the third day. Asia Pisces, return of the sun. Yellow sun, return on um, most the ice away. The Passover, um, the mist, the vapors. So many stories of the Bible talking about the 2,000 years of darkness. All right. Again, um, I forgot the number, but in Ezekiel, it tells you there will be a time where the parents will eat their children and their children's their parents. The ice age. So again, fire age is heaven, six, seven, and eight in the wheel above in the Milky Way galaxy. Air age, 3,000 years, purgatory, 9, 10, 11. Water age, 3,000 years, hell, 12, 1, and 2. Then the sun returns in the third day, age of Pisces. That's the earth age that we're living in right now. Paradise, 3, 4, and 5. We're in 4. So we got 8,500 years to go to enter the space dust. They call it the Corina Nebula. The Corina Nebula blocks the sun for 2,000 years. You get it? It's located in Sagittarius Arm. Let me show that to you guys. So here we have it. The Corina Nebula or Eta Corina or Corina Nebula. It's a large complex area, bright and dark, nebulistic, in the constellation Corina, located in Sagittarius Arm on the Milky Way galaxy. The nebula is approximately 8,500 light years from Earth. You see? Now keep in mind, we're here. We got 8,500 years to go to enter the Corina Nebula again, black the sun for 2,000 years of the Earth Ice Age. People get stupid, smaller and stupid. So we're entering the fire age where everything is getting bigger again. So now you know. And hell, the giant, there will be giants again. They will give birth to us. We adapt to the new earth. Lower oxygen levels, no carbon. Everything gets small, all right? Because they'd be eating each other, eating the same thing over and over and over. That's why we get smaller. And the heaven, the fire age, everything gets bigger again. High carbon activity, that's why you have um, our government using solar engineering. So this is solar engineering. Now keep in mind, in 2020, when this came out, I don't want to say here, when this came out, it's a code, astrological code. You have to know what the words are saying. And even with this, it's astrological code. I decode everything on my Facebook page, go. It's all astrological. Don't follow the BS, all right? Now, keep in mind, solar engineering, chemtrails are reducing the radiation in the sun because the eight suns will awaken, all right? That's climate change on Earth for 200 years. Eight suns sleep for 800 years, normal weather, and awaken for 200 years, okay? That's climate change. So, high carbon activity because all the volcanic activity on it is melting the ice away. So, when you read the, um, in the White House, on the White Page, they constructed here in the United States, um, they call it underground water tunnels to control the sea rising and the river rising you see two for every states and the rich areas all around the world except for those poor countries that don't have it all right then you got the FEMA coffins all right so it's have to do with the eight suns awaken the radiation high carbon activity makes everything big right again so remember that last adjustment you see I forgot what place this was in Earth where they discover it. In Earth, okay, okay, the Earth Ice Age, 2,000 years of darkness, no sunlight. People will eat each other. A cycle repeats itself. Corina, uh, um, Capricorn, Aquarius. You see? So the devil, who is the devil? You people are. You are the devil. We are the monsters. Okay? We eat each other for 2,000 years. 2,200 something years. In the age of Capricorn, Aquarius, when the Corina never the black the sun. See, that bow is right here. Here's the image removed so you can see. You see? The bow where the giants eat people. Because in that age, there will be giants again. It's a cycle. Giants always return. All right? It takes, for example, what came first? The chicken or the egg? The egg. Because the chemistry side of the egg changes. Same as when the woman's placenta. Everything's going to get bigger again. Earth creates giants, titans. All right? In the fire age, in the titanic place. That's a primordial soup down there. But they call it... It's not like in the movies tells you. It's, it's live carbon, okay? With the titanic plates. That's where all life comes from. And get ready and use your brain.